Hello and welcome to It's My World. This is Sutapa. Today I thought I'll talk about um, um, a big, major, life-changing event and the diagnosis of Parkinson's. Well, it happened about four years ago at the age of 36. I'm 40 years old in the year 2008. Um, and um, to say it was devastating, I think, would be a huge understatement. Um, I'm still trying to come to grips with it. I mean, four years down the road, um, I'm still hoping that I'll wake up and realize it's all a nightmare. Um, well, my, my one part of me understands that it is not. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but um, I went through this phase of um, looking, you know, kind of inputting my um, symptoms in Google and trying to see what other diseases there are. I said anything except this, anything curable except this. Unfortunately, no luck. But uh, going back to the day, um, to, you know, to, to the day or the time before I was diagnosed, um, you know, there was a lot of stuff going on. I was diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, and um, and I thought, okay, that's it. Then from hyper became hypo. I was on Synthroid. I said, okay, so probably that explains all the crazy symptoms I've been having. And I really thought I was a hypochondriac because I had all these symptoms and I had I had like untold tests and MRIs. Um, and everything came back negative. Um, so I was like, okay, um, it's all in my head. Little did I know that it really was all in my head. Just not the way I was thinking. Um, so we went to this doctor um, hoping against hope that he would say that everything is normal, um, you're just overstressed or something like that. But unfortunately he came up with this diagnosis of Parkinson's, um, which is very interesting because it is a clinical diagnosis. It, it is, you know, based on what you tell the doctor about your symptoms um, and certain neurological tests that they do. You know, there's no blood test or there's no MRI. There's no particular test um, for you to know. So um, it was um, it was nerve-wracking, extremely extremely disappointing. Of course, I was in tears. Um, that didn't help much. Um, so uh, you know, I realized, hey, you know, it's not helping. Um, Anil and me um, discussed and. Um, you know, we figured at least it's not life-threatening. Um, little did we know that, um, you know, something like this, no, it's not life-threatening, but um, can have a toll, a really heavy toll on uh, so many things. It is just not a disease. It's not physical. Not, well, I'd say it's not only physical. It is definitely physical. It's not only physical, but mental emotional and it affects not only you it affects your whole entire family it brings with it the guilt um, the you know the knowledge that you caught it in the family tree and you wonder about your kids you know whether they'll be able to deal with it but we have to be strong. I have to be strong, and I plan to be strong. <laughs> uh, you know, my attitude has always been glass half full, which is basically there's always a positive side. I'm still not able to find a positive side to this, but I figured, mm, okay, I'll take life as it goes, one day at a time. <coughs> So, but I thought it, it, it should, it's very uh, important um, that, you know, you know how um, it affects a whole life. I mean, how um, a disease affects not only the person, but the person's family too. So I'll be back with more.